In this quick video, we're going to look at setting up DKIM for emails sent from Salesforce. Please keep in mind that in order to carry out these functions, you'll need to be a system administrator in your Salesforce organization. First, let's navigate to Setup and search on DKIM. Then go to the DKIM Setup area. Here, we can create a new key. We can select 1024 or 248 bit. We need to specify a couple of selectors here. For security reasons, we rotate keys every 30 days, so we need to supply uh, the main selector and an alternate selector. We then need to supply the domain for our email that we need to match, and then our domain match, which gives us several options here that are somewhat self-explanatory. We'll use exact domain only. Once we've done that, we can save the key. For a second or two, we'll get an exclamation saying we're processing the text records, uh, which stops us from pro pro progressing any further. Let's refresh the page. Now our DKIM key is set up in Salesforce. We need to utilize these two ports here place the C names in our DNS records. Uh, I copied two from a key that we, I previously created and activated, which are these two. As I said, we need to supply them in, in our DNS records. So let's look in, uh, in a DNS interface that's commonly used, how this looks. Um, these are published records in our, for our DNS, and if we scroll down here, we see um, the domain key format, which is, is used for uh, DKIM, and here's the C name entered in our DNS interface, and here's the alternate one also. Once, we, once that's done, you can return back to your uh, DKIM keys. This is one I created earlier, uh, and DNS has propagated to the internet. Once it's propagated, you can activate the key, the page checks the DNS, and then your key comes into play. Once your key is working, you can send out an email. Here's the header of an email I sent earlier using this key. If we scroll up here, we can see here the DKIM signature included by Salesforce. Uh, this is our domain, and this is the alternate selector. This one's using the alter alternate selector uh, that we used previously. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please visit the Salesforce Help Portal, where you can find great resources, including communities, documentation, trails, or you can also contact support. Happy trailblazing!